Hey, this is Robbie from Primaticum, and in this video, I'm going to show you what are the top three mistakes that marketers make when sending out cold emails. Now, my background is this, is that I own a company called Primatica. Uh, we send out around five to 10 million cold emails every single month for business owners from marketing agencies up to private jet companies, uh, and have built a completely proprietary solution uh, to both find leads and send out cold personalized emails uh, completely automatically and completely scalable. So I have a huge amount of uh, knowledge in this field. And so this is uh, where my experience is coming from. Now, there are basically four mistakes that most people make uh, when they actually set out to do cold email marketing. Uh, and I'm not going to go into why you should do cold email marketing, but let me already tell you that if you're not doing it, then you're missing out uh, for real. Like this is uh, probably the best way to to do uh, uh, marketing nowadays, um, even better than Facebook ads, Google ads, and all that shit. So let me uh, show you right now. These are the three uh, most common mistakes, and I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to go uh, one by one over all th all four of them. Uh, and let's start with this one. So first one is not pr not having a proper uh, structure to your emails. Now, what does that mean essentially? What what do I mean by not having a proper structure to your emails? So most people that send out a cold email, uh, they'll usually send out something that is very very generic. So something like uh, Hey, uh, um, like, hello, I found your business and, uh, wanted to ask if, uh, if you're interested in SEO services, uh, we do this, we do X, Y, Z, uh, please contact me if you want a quote. That's probably how you receive most of your cold emails, uh, nowadays, because that's just the way that most people uh, do it and really, really doesn't work. So the way you actually want to do this is you want to structure your email in a very, very specific way. Uh, the way that you want to structure your email is this. So you want to start off with introducing yourself. So you can say, hi, this is Robbie from uh, Primatica. So basically you start out with just opening and introducing who you are. Because if you don't answer this question, then they're going to ask themselves, who the fuck is this guy? you got to start with who you are. Next step is to tell them how you found them. If you don't answer the question, how I found you, then they're not going to trust you because they're, th they're going to think, oh, he's some sort of scammer, or I have no idea where he got my email from, and they're not going to trust you. So you have to, to answer that question. And by the way, where did I learn that? I learned that from doing cold emails, uh, from doing uh, cold calling, sorry. Uh, that's where I found it to be extremely effective, and it works exactly the same with cold emails. So second thing is, where did I find you? So I found your your uh, website, uh, and then it could be like uh, like toys are uh, are us uh, dot com uh, while looking for toy makers in Beverly Hills. So first of all, how did I find you? So this is how I found you. Uh, next question that they are going to ask themselves is. Who is this person and what do they want with me? So, you know, what can you do for me? What, how can you help me? Why are you contacting me? So basically this is where you have to really establish a hook, establish the value. So in our case for Pramanica, we have a solution, uh, solution that I can show you in two minutes, uh, that, and make it even, I would even make it in bold. So we have a solution I can show you in two minutes, uh, that will help you generate as many, let me go down line, as many B2B leads as you want on autopilot. Autopilot with 10x better results than uh, Facebook ads or Google ads. Okay, so already I've established who I am, how I found you, and how I can help you. Um, now, and also, if you notice, there's also a really important part here, which is I can show you this in two minutes. Now, here, the next question is, how can I trust you? So how can I know that, you know, you're not just a bullshitter, that this is actually real? Uh, this is where you have to establish some sort of authority uh, in your statement. So, for example, uh, we've used this tool to generate thousands of leads for clients from uh, small businesses. Sorry, businesses up to Inc. 1000, Inc. 1000 
companies despite uh, even during the COVID pandemic. So basically, this is how I kind of establish authority. And then always, 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 always end with a call to action. And the call to action always has to be a question. Because what usually people do is like, uh, you know, hey, if you're interested, please reply to this email. That's way too broad. It's very hard for me to to reply because I'm because it actually takes me effort to think. What do I reply? So the only thing I can I the the only thing I want to do is ask them a very simple question that has a very limited set of answers, and that is going to very clearly uh, allow them to reply to me without too much effort. So for example, um, I'd love to send you a two minute personalized video showing you exactly what I'm talking about, uh, can I send you the video? So here's an example, a uh, very simple question, then Robbie Frank, Primatica. Uh, very simple, are you gonna go further? Just leave your phone number and that's how you can structure an email. So that's the first mistake that people make. They do not structure their emails properly. Okay, what is the second mistake? No super compelling offer. So uh, second mistake people make when doing cold emails is that they don't have a super, super compelling offer that's just impossible uh, to say no to. So uh, what that means is, let's say you're uh, an advertising company. What most advertising company do is just send out an email and they say basically, uh, you know, hey, I can help you with uh, this and this and this and this and this. And uh, we can do this and this. And we're very good because of this and this. Uh, if you're interested, co contact me back. And that's really not the way you want to go about it. Uh, what you want to do is you want to center it uh, around one very specific offer uh, that is extremely hard to say no to. So basically the entire point of the email is to center it around one thing that if I just hit the right audience with this offer, they can't say no to it. For example, um, if you're contacting uh, roofing contractors, then you can say, I'd be happy to send you a, a set of three highly engaging, proven posts for roofing contractors that are going to get people to to reply and, and, and increase your client base. So that's an example of something that's very hard to say no to. Another example is um, I'd love to work with you guys. And I, just to prove how much we can help you, I'd love to offer you a 10-day, 100% money back guarantee. If you're not happy with us for any reason, uh, you don't pay a thing. So that's an, another example. Basically, either uh, maximize the benefit. Uh, basically, this is amazing and you've got to get it. Or uh, minimize the risk. And the way that you build the offer or the pitch is you want to look at who is my ideal client and what is the ideal result that I can create in a perfect situation. And you want to start off with that because... At the end of the day, you're here to get a reply. And if the company is not your ideal company, you can always establish that on a later call. And that's going to help you uh, set the expectations right. So if you're going to tell them, we can help you get uh, a 10 time ROI on your investment, and that's for an ideal company. And then you come up with a company that, for example, uh, doesn't have very good websites and, and everything about them sucks. You can say, look, that's what we could do if you had this and this and this. You currently don't have this. We can make it for you. And basically, that's part of the package. So you can always set up the expectations correctly after they reply. But at the beginning, you want to really pitch big. Again, think Coca-Cola, you know, the taste of life. Think uh, Nike. Think all of the big brands. They all know how to compellingly uh, pitch their, their stuff no matter what. So that's another one. Next mistake is relying on just one email account. So another really big mistake that most people do is let's say they set up a G Suite account, uh, so Robbie at uh, Primatica.com, and then I only send cold emails uh, from that one email account. You know, I warm it up and I start pushing out lots and lots and lots of uh, cold emails using that one account. Now that's a huge mistake, even if you are abiding by the, the limits of how many emails you can send. And the reason for that is because this actually limits you dramatically because there are a lot of variations in what emails get approved and what don't. So what I would suggest is to spend that extra bit of money. And when you buy an emails for cold emailing, actually buy a couple of them. So it could be Robbie at uh, Primatica2.com. And then the next one could be Robbie at B2B Marketing Auto, uh, And another one could be Robbie 
at uh, getmoreleads.com. Obviously, these are probably taken, but essentially what you do is you package these together and you, you build them up together. And that's literally going to cost you an extra 10 bucks per email for the domain. And obviously, you want to use different domains that are completely different. And it's going to cost you an extra $6 a month for the G Suite. So that's all it costs you. And now when you send out those cold emails, uh, let's say somebody got your email, uh, but they didn't open it. You can now send it from the other one. And that way you can actually rotate the emails all the time. And uh, one email maybe didn't get through, but the other one will get through. And that's a really, really, really uh, good explanation for how to better just increase your, your uh, deliverability. And finally, the last mistake is to just not automating the whole thing. I mean, at the end of the day, when you do cold emails, uh, there's a bunch of factors you need to take into account, which is A-B testing. So most people don't have enough, uh, uh, just don't have enough creativity and enough time to create, you know, 50 different variations of their emails. So they can't really test out what works the best. There's a volume issue where you just literally can't send out enough emails per day. Uh, there's a consistency issue where it's always a problem to actually you know, go out every day and send it, even if you're using a VA, it's again, a larger amount is very, very difficult. And finally, there's the scraping issue, which is where the hell do I actually find these leads? Now, the answer is that Primatica, my company actually does every single one of those. So what we did was build a system uh, that finds the leads for you, any industry, any location will find the leads for you. Uh, we'll craft you guys uh, dozens and dozens of email templates. We have a system that can literally send out as many emails as we want. Um, we optimize them automatically using machine learning, plus our expert team of copywriters. It's infinitely scalable, better results than PPC. You get results from day one. You're going to get an incredible ROI. You have the best support. It, basically, you're going to get everything that you've ever wanted. And we work with companies from uh, small businesses up to, as I've said, Inc. 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 1000 companies. Um, highly, highly, highly recommended. So if that's of interest to you, if you're doing cold emails, reach out to us. Just go to Primatica.com and you can get started here, book a demo, or just watch the 20-minute video that explains our entire service plus any question that you may have. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Hope this guide helped you, and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions.